our work here actually started on uh, Saturday. We started doing ice patrols first thing in the morning. And we realized Sunday night when the weather changed and the misting started to come in that we needed to uh, perform some work. There are areas around 2,000 square kilometers that we have here in the Nipah CSC that requires attention. So we called uh, distribution construction staff in, as well as other district staff from adjoining uh, CSCs. And we have roughly around 70 people on the ground uh, working in our area. Mostly in this area here, what we have is a horror frost that is built up in the, in the Minidosa area. One of the conditions with ice, especially with horror frost, because it brings down the line so far as we have a problem with the two wires touching each other, causing outages. Uh, it also, the extra weight can cause the lines to touch together and burn down. If the wind gets up on us, it uh, can cause the lines to gallop when they start to move along in the wind, um, causing arms to break and structures to break at that point. We have three main uh, ways of uh, ice removal techniques that we use from Manitoba Hydro. The main one and the uh, probably the easiest one on the guys is the ice melting, uh, which involves putting current down the line uh, using a set of shorts and it melts, uh, it melts off the uh, ice and the horror frost off the line. Uh, another technique is uh, ice rolling. Uh, we put a roller on the line and uh, the pressure of the roller vibrating down the line will vibrate the stuff off. And another uh, way we use is a uh, ice whacker. It's a small 18 inch poly stick and the guys will hit the line with it. It works really good on horror frost, uh, not so much on ice. The guys are working roughly 16 hours a day. We try to maintain 16 hours just for safety reasons, right? So guys are starting roughly at 8 o'clock in the morning and they're done by midnight. And that allows us to work more during the daylight hours as opposed to working in the evening and the midnight hours where it's harder to see and uh, harder to perform their work.